Yo, man, this your boy King Rio, man. This your girl, Aisha Ray. Hey, this Peanut Gavachi. And this New Way 290, man. New Way. Hey, you gotta listen to Steezo Radio, man. Hey, Steezo. Shout out. <laughs> Show where we go toe to toe, hot topic dropping knowledge straight from Chicago. And it's our point of view, so tell me what you gonna do. Drop a line, don't be lying, trying to get with the crew. Cause we be talking them facts, exposing them fiction. Man, it's so real that we be causing some friction. Probably something you missing, ain't no need to be dissing. Just relax here and listen because we spitting and sipping. This is a radio show. Y'all, welcome back to another special edition of Steezo Radio. Now, this one's special because we're doing interviews. Y'all that follow the show, y'all know the interviews we do. They're not corny. They're not that CNBC bullshit. That ain't that Fox shit. We ask real questions because we want y'all to know these people. Right. And when I say these people, I'm saying because this is probably the first time we had a whole group in the basement at the round table. No way. I'm back. Y'all no probably way. seen me sharing they shit like crazy on the page. Flex Mob, Peanut Vinci. Gavachi. Why the fuck do I keep saying Gavachi? I don't know. Like it's, it's Peanut Gavachi. <laughs> yeah, and I've been calling you Asia. Yeah. Like the motherfucker. Let me let me do it right there. We got Peanut Gavachi. Gavachi, <laughs> man. Gavachi. Peanut Gavachi. <laughs> I'm being Steve's on Patty. I'm being Steve's on Patty. We got no. Peanut Gavachi in the building. We got Asia Ray. Rio. We got Rio. Now, Rio, you sent me another name. How many aliases you got? We're going to start the interview right there. Oh, man. It depends on how I'm feeling, bro. I'm King Rio, man. I'm Rio. I'm King 17, bro. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's a rap <laughs> thing with me, bro. Like, <laughs> All right. Now, for y'all that know him, y'all know him as Flex Mob. That's this new group coming out the shower. When I say new group, I mean new group. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, y'all knew, man. Nah, y'all it's knew. New Way 290, shorty. Y'all he knew, just, y'all knew. It's, it's just New Way 290, it's just, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? We I look at, like, names. we we all our own singular artists. It's just, you feel me? We a group together, you feel me? We okay, just, okay, uh, well, let's start right there. Let's start right there with the interview. How did y'all put this together? Uh, and the reason why I'm asking that question is I've had artists down here, and I've been in the shop my whole life. You always hear there's no unity. Oh, no, right. Uh, I mean, like, uh, who, who want to speak uh, first? Because, you know what I'm saying? We all got different... Okay, I guess I'll speak first. <laughs> Gang shit, you already know how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, for real, though, um, we all got the same vision, bro. We all got the same drive, bro. We all got the same attitude. When I tell you, like, we all literally alike, bro. Just alike. That's right. what pulled us together. You know what I'm saying? Right. We all agree that we singular artists, but you know what I'm saying? We a group together. We motivate each other. Hey. We do stuff together. We do everything together. Like, when we go live, we in the studio, you never see... Not just one of us. Right. Even when one of us ain't recording, all of us in the studio together. You know what I'm saying? We do everything together. Take pictures, go like. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the whole time, the funniest thing ever we met at a showcase. Yeah. For like, real? Like, yeah. I ain't know these niggas. <laughs> Wait, a like, showcase where y'all was going against I, I each other? Them, nah, was, I knew the promoter. Like, like a, just a showcase. We all performed. Oh, Basically just going against each other to win competition. That, the showcase. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. So it's crazy. I knew the promoter. Dynasty, you feel me? She been telling me, come. I finally brought my ass over there. Uh-huh. This nigga thought I was King Pooh. Like, who the fuck's this bitch? You feel me? <laughs> I got on the stage, went crazy, this, this shit. Good, I heard this motherfucker rap. I'm like, damn. <laughs> then we clicked up like shit. New Way 290 shit, man. Motherfuckers been fucking with us ever since that day. Joe, we been like this. Ever since that motherfucking day, folks. Ever since that day. So, so let's, let's, let's go here right now and just break the, uh, uh, not the rumor, but the, the talk that Chicago rappers don't appreciate each other. Get the fuck out uh, of here. I, got, I, I believe that's true. I'm not saying us, you know, we right. support other artists and, you know, everybody can vouch for that. Like, we share everybody's shit. If you, you know what I'm saying, we support everybody. But, like, Chicago, it seemed like everybody in competition with each other. They don't want to see us eat. Fucking haters. They don't want to see us eat. When we all supposed to eat together and we, we got the same motherfucking goal to get the fuck out the hood Everybody's out this like, bullshit. It's like motherfuckers just... don't want to see nobody get on top of each other. But don't y'all think y'all kind of broke that stereotype? I mean, y'all let a showcase hey, that's what, and y'all respecting each other's talents and we y'all clicked trend. up. That's what I was just finna say. Like, you feel me? I look at it like, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm outspoken, you feel me? So I'm finna say what the fuck I gotta say, you feel right. me? 
So it, I look at it like, you know what I'm saying? It just take that little nudge of them, them couple, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers, us, you know what I'm saying, that they <laughs> that they see us sticking together and shit, you know what I'm saying? They see us really rocking with each other, and we show support to everybody. everybody. That's everybody. why we It don't matter if we know y'all shit. or not, you know what I'm saying? We see y'all at the showcase, we, we fuck with y'all. We, we fuck network and get y'all numbers and everything, bro. And niggas is low key starting to fall in suit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. you know niggas follow us by nature, bro. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. They all it take is that one motherfucker, bro. And I just feel like we them motherfuckers, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna voice my opinion because that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? We all motivated. We all got the same goal, the same mission, bro. And we own that. And I'm telling you, like when we get straight, it, it's it's trouble. All right, let me start. With, let me start with uh the lady, of the lady of the fan, with this question. Hey. First lady. <laughs> when did you start rapping? Um. I always been a writer, but I started actually writing like yo, my yo. sophomore year of high school. Uh-huh. Um, one of my my sophomore teacher, he uh got us into like poetry and stuff like that, and he thought that I was pretty good with writing, and he was like, "Why don't you try it on the beat?" Shut a live, y'all. You no, know, I tried. I wrote it. It was okay, but mm-hmm. you know, like I actually started taking it seriously like a couple of months ago. Really? A couple of months ago, I had my first show April twentieth, four twenty show, and ever since then I've been doing shows. Damn. What about you, Peanut? Oh, man, I've been rapping since I was shorty. I just lost motivation and shit, man, but it's crazy because I got out of jail and then I was like, I got to start taking this shit serious because motherfuckers was actually fucking with me. I just was on some niggas talking all that beef shit to a beef mm-hmm. bitch. They're like, damn, nigga, you, you need to drop that shit. I finally dropped that shit. And motherfuckers, <laughs> I seen the vision, motherfucker. What made you lose that fo- focus, though? What Like, what happened? Man, I was just out here being dumb as fucking the motherfucking streets, just doing dumb Chicago shit, Joe. Gotcha. And I had to realize when I got out of jail, man, I can't be on that shit, man. I got to be grown and do what I need to do for me. And I definitely... Definitely got talent, and motherfuckers seen that shit before me, and I thank y'all motherfuckers for that shit, bro. Oh, baby, girl, like what about you, Mister Outspoken? Ah uh, man, and anybody that know me, you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't be, I never toot my own horn. I'm not one of them conceited uppity people. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying. Anybody that know me, know me as long as they knew me. I've been doing music. You know what I'm saying. I've been doing music since I was little in grammar school type shit. Since writing on the pad type shit. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Like on some real shit. You feel me? It's just I met them. You know what I'm saying? I started doing shows when I met Aisha Ray, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't doing no shows, but I was taking the rap shit serious, you feel me? Like, I was, you know what I'm saying, recording. You know what I'm saying? I used to record in my auntie front room and shit. Then I started getting to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Then I met them and went from me getting to the studio to doing shows and that. Me on Steezo Radio with my motherfucking gang getting this <laughs> interview, you know what I'm saying? All right, now let's, now let's touch on that. What is the new wave? New way motherfucking two ninety man. It's just like we 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 different. Like we sticking together and we trying to promote that shit and promote motherfuckers to come together. And you know what I'm saying? That's new to niggas. Like that's foreign. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's more than one of us. And we got motherfuckers that's behind us. You feel me? That's not man. even in our group. You know what I'm saying? And we not on no gang banging shit. And we not on no gang banging shit. We just on some. You feel me? We f- all, all us from out west. And we the new wave and two ninety. That's what it, you know. What I'm saying that's where that come from. You know what I'm saying? But okay. the, the meaning behind it is you know what I'm saying. It's just motivation, bro. And we trying to push motherfuckers to be different and break that cycle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now where does the energy come? Cause I, you know, I see y'all lives. Uh, right. I see. I seen the snaps. So, you know. I believe it's from right. each other though. Like we feed off each other, and they already naturally energetic. Yeah. But we, we, we feed off each other energy. I'm just giving for example myself. Like uh-huh. you know, I when I was doing shows and stuff at first, you know, like I said, I just started doing shows. So right. you know, I was kind of stiff and stuff like that. I met them; they be hyping me up. So you know, I, I believe we feed off each other energy. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely contagious. Yeah, that shit. That's you cannot turn they, up around these two. They, like. they feed off our energy like that. Yeah. Like, it's like, like it's like you nah, know what I'm saying. Not nah, again, not to not own horn, bro. But every time, you know what I'm saying. Before we come to the show, you know what I'm saying. We got motherfuckers that tell us, you know what I'm saying. Y'all they expect us to be there, you know what I'm saying, because they love that yeah. energy that we get. Right, new out. wave in the building. You know what I'm saying. Pull us to <laughs> the side. Hey, we need you, niggas. We look up to you. Y'all the competition, but we fuck with you. You feel me? Like that's that the type of shit they be on. It's all love. Don't no disrespect to none of you motherfuckers. I fuck with all y'all. Hey, on. I love sport. How do you how do you handle that though? You know, y'all saying you know you starting out not new, but you know new with this group. You know, saying you you bringing up this new wave. How do you handle when people you don't fucking know, like saying, "Hey, we need y'all to come. We 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 waiting on y'all." Like, hey, I love that shit because it's crazy because my family and my so called motherfucking friends don't even support me. I love that shit from strangers. They support me like a motherfucker. They love us. They love us. I can screenshot inboxes of motherfuckers saying, y'all need to come turn up woo woo compared to family members just asking how the fuck the show went, which they never do. So yeah. I love strangers. I love supporters, mm-hmm. man. They, they fuck with us the long way. That's the how I handle that shit. I love y'all motherfuckers. You feel me? 
yeah. All right, now show me the business uh, aspect. I think uh, me and Pina, that we was texting, and I'm not saying you shocked me, but you know, a lot of young artists when they start out, they don't know the basics. You was hitting me with. Man, motherfuckers ain't getting their shit copyright. Motherfuckers yeah. ain't, ain't, ain't fucking with ass okay. cap. Like, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. The thing is, reason why I ain't got no music out right now for a simple fact is I'm doing it right. I do not want to be Facebook famous. I do not want to be YouTube famous. I don't want to do shit on the internet for fucking free. You niggas out here shining y'all little, little flossing and shit, like little CDs and shit, and coming up all fucking clout, but it's y'all making money. You feel me? You gotta copyright y'all shit. Motherfuckers out here trying to steal. Motherfuckers be at y'all shows recording and whole time steal y'all shit. So you gotta have a BMI, copyright your shit, mm-hmm. and then publish your shit, folks. You gotta be legit about all these motherfucking it's situations, man. It's all about money man. It's day. all about See, money, we Joe. Just, we it's not about just, clout. We ain't just all just flash, you know what I'm saying? Jumping around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We got motherfuckers that's business oriented on our team. It's a lot of motherfuckers that want us, but we 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 want them too. But at the end of the day, we yeah. have to make sure we financially straight when it comes down yeah. to our music. Cause ain't nobody jacking shit of mine that we work for. Period. Now who put you on that? Who put me on what? Me and my shit? Yeah, just okay. just, just just the whole business side. Period. I, I I know a lot of rappers when I was a shuddy, Joe. They've been oh, okay. putting me on game and shit when they tried to grab my little ass when I was a shuddy. <laughs> and I'm like, man, that's where all my knowledge come from from these niggas out there, bro. Uh huh. Man, shout out to Booby, man. You feel me? Yeah, your ass helped me out good, shuddy. Now, when y'all was in the studio, studio that one night, I seen, I don't know if y'all was uh, working on something or just hanging out, but I saw it was like your man was on the boards right. and y'all was all lining up to, to, to do a verse. Right. I, he talking I, about, I remember, when, he he talking about when I was recording uh, Migos. Migos. Yeah. yeah. Now, is that the process? Now, y'all that, was his, that was his session. Yeah, we always was... support each other. That was his session. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, even okay. when, even when. You know what I'm saying? We not recording. We still with each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just that support. You know what I'm saying? That insight. Motherfuckers that might, you know what I'm saying? Feel like, oh, well, what y'all think about this? Or I ain't, you know what I'm saying? My ad lives or I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. That's why we always around we each other. We know we going to be honest with each other. And other so. motherfuckers just going to lie to us. Like, it sound good because we the competition. We can't trust everybody. You feel me? You right about that. They going to be like, yeah, you sound good, hotel. We, we sound like hot fucking guys. We ain't going <laughs> to lie to each other. Like, hot that guys. That shit bogus. We going to say it's bogus. Period. Yeah. Now, how does that work out, though? We what, be getting in our feelings, ain't gonna lie. What if I tell my shit, but I be like, man, bitch, fuck you. But shit, I gotta take the advice, because you, yeah. you the wave. You know better than I do shit. Yeah. Sure. And we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna stay each other to the left. You know what I'm saying? We don't at, at the end of the day, we in it together. Yeah, we, oh, all, we all got the same and purpose, And that's what we bro. trying to promote, togetherness. Right. Now, Asia, do you find yourself getting pushed around when you when it comes to by you being a female? You get you Do you get that... Big Brother role or the the from this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm drill sergeant, Coach Carter in this bitch. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is, hey, yeah. wake up! It's time to go. Hey, you, you're not doing this shit right. Talk yeah, that's me. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? My brother. So y'all got y'all got more like a family bond. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Okay, and y'all y'all known each other. How, how long? What'd you say? It's been that long, it so. ain't even been It's long been at all. much. It's been a couple months. Are you serious? is crazier than yeah. anybody like, else, bro. It's, like I said, it's because we click because we just alike. Like, and sometimes, I ain't gonna like, we clash. Right. Like everybody else, that's bro. natural. But at the end of the day, we know you. We, we just trying to support each other and make each other better. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, the show y'all did the other night, I mean, this this interview gonna be uh, dated, but I, I saw the footage. Right. The show y'all did the other night with the, you had the mask on the uh Flick of the wrist. yeah the, the red white and blue mask. Uh-huh. What show oh, was that? The red right that was last night. That was uh, yeah, that's what oh that was last night. Yeah that was uh Sasha that was, go hard. Yeah. Sasha go hard. She had a uh, Halloween concert. You know what I'm saying Sasha go hard and shit. And we had we won slots and shit. Slots. We want slots of shit at a previous show and shit for rocking that motherfucker. Shout out to Foe now for going crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, we uh won that slot. You know what I'm saying? We went up in there and. Turned that bitch up. Hey, shout out motherfucking Sea Desolation, too. Them my yeah. motherfucking homies. Uh, hey, bro, yeah. them was rocking with Migos. us. Migos. Shout out to y'all three Migos. They, like, so. when I tell you, bro, like, we we didn't have enough room to move how much they was on us I'm last like, night, bro. They'll support, they'll support good, like, Joe. Yeah. 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 We didn't get yeah. our videos to it yet. We getting videos with no sound. Yeah, they still. They ten, still se- <laughs> ten second clips. <laughs> Snaps they, and shit. They bogus. <laughs> they hiding us, Joe. That's crazy because that night was empty. Last night was the best That shit was epic as fuck, bro. We ain't had no room. Like they yeah. supported the fuck out of us. Yeah. So. Asia, Asia Ray set the set the standard. She, you know what I'm saying? It was only yeah. her and Sasha go hard for the females in the building. She represented. You know what I'm saying? She represented. Like so we fucking with that. Is it easier for females now? 
I'm gonna ask. I'm asking all of y'all. Is it easier for so. females? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna wait till they put the input in, then I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I don't think so. I feel like we gotta push through more barriers for, simply because music is male dominated. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of people get on a whole nother level with females. You know, they they not necessarily about business. They try to get on some sensual shit. Yeah, because I noticed that's that's not you. You don't be on the butt ass naked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can actually rap her more. That's why they fuck with her more. That's why motherfuckers envy her. I ain't that's gonna say no name, but shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was asking. Is it, I thought maybe it'd be a little easier now nah, because it nah, seemed like it's, it's going it's back to the bars. I, I don't believe so. I do. Mm. You I do? Don't think so. Yeah. My opinion on that is for females to like that shit wide open right now because like you know what I'm saying you said we ain't gotta have no filters on this bitch so I'ma not have a filter on this bitch. It's wide open for the females right now, bro, because there's so many hot garbage ass females that's, that's trying to just... be fucking like Cardi's and be naked and ass shaking. Right. Making you know it. what I'm saying? Like, cause they bitch. You don't get. You don't get females like Asia Ray. You know what I'm saying? You don't get a lot of females out here like that, bro. You don't get females that actually rap about shit besides other than one to trick ass. niggas out their money and set pop it pussy right. on the handstands right. and all this other goof ass <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? She actually rap. You know what I'm saying? She got a lot of shit that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Asia Ray, they sleeping on her. You know what I'm saying? For those who do know about her, though, they know she a good ass artist. You know what I'm saying? I know that shit too. We know that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if motherfuckers was to get, you know what I'm saying, in the in the in the rap game like heavy, right? Motherfuckers would be a a, a problem, and motherfuckers know that. That's why motherfuckers don't want to show no love, bro. Motherfuckers envy when they see motherfucker capable of doing better than them. So, so do y'all have an issue when it comes to let's say let's say a, a, somebody want to work with y'all? Is it an issue where they try to say, okay, I want to work with y'all, but I want this person? Nah, it's been problems, but it's, at I the mean, same before, time, but... like they always do that to us. There's been plenty of motherfuckers that be in my inbox, but yeah. they say they fuck with the wave, be on my shit. Oh, you don't need them. You on this day, the third right. one would. They do the same thing to these motherfuckers. Right. Like, but at the end of the day, we always bring each other up. We ain't going nowhere. If I come up, these motherfuckers come up the same way this shit go. They come up, I'm up too. Like, man, like we stick together, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers hate that shit. What what's what's been the what's been the hardest thing so far? Shit. I mean, if if you really had to just like when when you go home and you like, man, why we ain't broke yet? Why we ain't got that break yet? What's been the, what what you think the hardest thing to get over that hump? Man. To really get out there. What you call that? Um, publicity. And being Ex- more um, financially stable, because everything in music is financial, right? Whether you believe it or not, mm-hmm. it's all about money. You can't you can't promote yourself correctly if you ain't got no money. You you gotta have money. Beats, studio time, copyright, all that shit costs. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know. Now you know shit. you got motherfuckers out here finessing and shit. They'll try to charge you. To, to record your song and, and mix it and master your shit. Hundred dollars. We made a motherfucker for twenty five dollars. That That's do killing everything. Our shit. Shout and out then, motherfucking Eric Moreno. And then letting us stay in that motherfucker making some more songs. Yeah. Shit, and the shit be hits. Shout the out shit Eric that they Moreno. That's my motherfucking made homie. And shit. Shout out Eric Moreno. So if yeah. you if you had that bag, let's say somebody right now walked up five hundred racks. What's the first thing you do? Five hundred racks. Yeah. I'm putting it into studio time. I'm uh copywriting all the rest of my songs and shit. <laughs> we doing photos. We finna hop in magazine. Name. We finna go to fucking. We finna do everything business we gonna wise. We, gonna we not finna fly or buy no jewelry. We gonna None show of that motherfuckers shit. how to do it, bro. Shit, and that's like... why motherfuckers don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I think motherfuckers don't want to cut us that slack for because they know we gonna be we gonna be good on our own. We don't Basically. we we not gonna need nobody. Like you know what I'm saying? Of course you are gonna need people, but you know mm-hmm. you get what you get the drift of what I'm saying. We not gonna really need nobody because we business orientated really on our own. Like motherfuckers just think we all music, bro. But really we not. But like where did that come from? Cause you know on, on on this podcast we 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 do the old versus young. You know we we got a couple of youngers. You know right. Young and Kurt, Shorty got them, and they they tell us like, no, nah, you don't understand like. Y'all see it one way because that's what y'all see when the knucklehead's doing their shit. But right. it's some young motherfuckers out here that's really focused, that's really trying to, you know what I'm saying, better themselves without pulling that pistol. Right. right. Without selling that dope. So where did it come from for y'all? Like that, be, be like be specific, like where what came from? Just to be focused on what you want to do. Oh, because we getting older and got damn it, we oh, need yeah. to get out the hood. Ain't Priorities. no time for bullshit. Who, uh, we grow. Who uh hmm. who you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you know what I'm saying? You from a, 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 a older generation than us, right? Right. 
back then they ain't play that shit, bro. After a certain age, right? Am I right or am I wrong, bro? You you can't be on the block no more. You can't do all that other goof ass shit no more. You feel me? It was about bettering yourself and breaking the cycle. You know what I'm saying? And being able to, you know what I'm saying, for the next generation to be able to. You feel me? Yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? You, you know right. what I'm saying? So about that, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I just I just keep my mind like that, bro. Like I don't wanna. I don't want to be on the block forever. I grew up here 22 down there, 23 years. You feel me? Who? What the fuck make you think I want to stay here? It's not about motherfuckers being scared. Motherfuckers be like, as soon as a motherfucker sign a deal, they leave. They scared. Fuck you mean I'm scared. I've been here 22 damn near tw- my whole life. <laughs> fuck you mean. I want to go somewhere else. <laughs> fuck is wrong right, with you? Right, right, right. And I got the gift. You know what I'm saying? My team got the gift to get us up out of here. And motherfuckers, you want us to... What's it? What? what? Like, what? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> So I nah. feel like we um prioritized a little bit more. I'm not trying to you nah, know, you... put no dirt on nobody, but I feel like we prioritize more than other people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we right, keep right. each other on the same aspect, too. Like, all of us got different, you know what I'm saying, opinions and views on stuff, and that kind of feed in. If I feel some type of way about something, I hear some insight from both of them, and you know what it kind of change. You know what I'm saying? We keep each other on point, and we keep each other on our toes. Yes, yes. At all time. Yes, yes. So is it more respect between the three of you? Hell yeah, that's it's a definite. That's a definitely. Yeah. No, that's a definite thing between us because you know what I'm saying us as adults. You know when you over eighteen, you grown anyway. But fuck that. You know what I'm saying it's not about age. It's about how you carry yourself that make you grown. You know what, right. what I'm saying. So us as being our age range and shit. You know what I'm saying. Being we still expected to be on that. You know what I'm saying. We still on the block. We don't want to do shit. Why nah? We on the exact opposite. You know what I'm saying. We trying to. We trying to shoot our shot while it's good at shooting, you know what I'm saying? Because it's best you get it why you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, bro. It's just like, we we different, bro. I just I just, <laughs> I just just look at it like that. Like, all us be on the same shit, but we on some different shit than regular motherfuckers. Not saying, like, we, we, we better in ourselves. Right. You know what we, I'm saying? But, we on some very other shit. Yeah. Trying yeah. to get the fuck out the hood and stay out the hood. Not trying to go to jail. Like, the other shit motherfuckers Staying doing... Out. It's That's just dumb. Ain't no cause, no purpose. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. Okay. I got to go to Chance the Rapper. Okay. Now, he does a lot for the city. Right. You know, I, I see him when he ran out the shows. Right. And gave that ticket to the schools. You know what I'm saying? Is it is it easy to say he did it, I can do it? Or do you look at Chance like, okay, he's at where I'm going to be? If. You know, because a lot of times I, I've always wondered, because back in the day, Chicago wasn't getting no love. You oh, know, yeah. everybody yeah. who made it had to leave the city. Basically. You know what I'm saying? But Basically. now you're seeing you, it's a new era right now. Yeah. You got motherfuckers making it here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so does it motivate you to the point where you like, okay, he did it, I can do it? Or do you just see him as, oh, he where I'm going to be in the next two, three years? Chance from out south. So, like, <laughs> damn. If he, no, 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 explain because you know that's I, I, what got, I'm that's what I got, I, was I got, say. I got people. The reason why I'm asking these questions because I got people, believe it or not, like Baltimore, Buffalo, you know what I'm saying, parts right. of Denver, and they don't understand Chicago. Okay, they but, think it's just one city. They don't get the West Side, South, South Side. Oh uh, yeah, side. you, 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 you ain't never supposed to do that. Like that's why motherfuckers that's not from here can't come here and do what the fuck they want to do. You right. know what I'm saying because. Us being from here, we know the lingo. We know what you can and what you can't do. What times you supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Shit mm-hmm. like that. What's safe and what ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chance, he from out south. You know what I'm saying? And he made it. Like, Keith was from out south and he made it. Dirk was from out south and he made it. Bro, I'm not trying to hit that. If them niggas could do that shit, bro, like, it's not nothing stopping us. All motherfuckers got to do is apply themselves and show motherfuckers that we don't need motherfuckers help. That's when they want to help you when you know, when they know they don't. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tag on. Trying to motherfucker jump on the ship. That's yeah. when motherfuckers going to want to get the inbox and you're trying to manage and do all this. Yep, trying to ride the motherfucking wave. Yeah. So, my next question, and either one of y'all can answer this. Because, okay. again, I'm trying to I'm trying to tie this in. I got The reason why I'm trying to tie it in was I got an uh, inbox the other day. And uh, damn, I forgot what part it was from. But the, the girl was saying, I, got, I listened to your show on accident. She was from, damn, I should know this. Somewhere like in one of the Dakotas. Right. You feel me? I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, I'm, you know, it got me to thinking, like, they hear shit we say. Like, I, I got a bad habit of saying Joe. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I had somebody inbox say, which one of the cast members is named Joe? Right. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Chicago say lingo, that. baby. Right. Yeah, that's, Shit. that's that lingo. So I want y'all to touch on that a little bit. Because y'all do that in y'all raps a lot. Y'all, oh, y'all man, throw that in there. We say four, we say OMG, all that shit, man. On four them. Basically, Joe. You know what I'm saying? That's just like. Our lingo. That's just like the lingo well, that, you know to, what I'm saying? You know, that, you know what I'm saying? Shit. That that's shit, what we know. That shit growing up, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit growing up that you hear older motherfuckers say, not saying it, that you saying it because mm-hmm. you hear another motherfucker saying it. But it's your lingo. Like. Motherfuckers from Cali, how they use the B's and the C's when they talking shit. Yeah, they yeah. talk different from us motherfuckers in Connecticut. They talk funny as hell in Connecticut. They, I went to Connecticut one time. These niggas talk so motherfucking funny. We talk country to them niggas. Like, we, yeah, we, we country to them. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck is we country and we ain't from Texas or none of that? You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. to them niggas, our, our lingo foreign, they be looking at us like when I when I went to Macomb at WIU and a motherfucker was like, I was like, man, fo, what's up, fo? Fo, fo, you know what I'm saying? I kept saying fo. They was like, do you mean foe as in he's your enemy? I'm like, <laughs> see, no. See what I mean? <laughs> no. Be like, I'm like, four? no. You mean F O U R? No, no, nigga. F O E, nigga. Oh, no. no. no, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's just a natural born. Reflex with the language, right. nigga. Shit. Yeah, the reason why I brought it up because I'm thinking with you know this this new crop of rappers from the shy, it's like the lingo is spreading across the country now. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's more accepted. Just now they like, understand. Just. Yeah, and then it could be misinterpreted too. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause you know, King Louie, now, nah, no disrespect to Louie, Joe. He got motherfuckers out south saying foe, not knowing what foe really mean out west. Yeah. Motherfuckers that's... over east, they don't foe them, woo woo. Foe them is four corner hustlers, bro. Right. How is you a GD, BD, where the fuck you is? No disrespect. Saying foe, that's why I said motherfuckers be like giving out mixed signals sometimes too. You know, so, somebody, yeah. somebody pointed it out. They said, it said, this reminds me, cause, cause he loves Chicago rap. He was like, this reminds me of when uh, uh, Snoop and them had everybody crip walking. Uh-huh. And yeah, uh, bro, I forgot man. who the fuck did it, but somebody was like, this is not a dance. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had to do it in the video because people was getting their ass whooped. You know what I'm for saying? Crip walking. Like, yeah. um, for example, when like Chief Keith was saying Tuka Pack. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Everybody was saying well, that. Like, that's a, that's a, about smoking Tuka, tuka Pack. Pack. That's, that's a, a low-ass that's boy that got that's cute. A, that's a, exactly. That's right. a thing, bro, with like... Outside of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? They they see us doing that, not us. I'm saying like us as in Chicago rappers, right. this and the dead homies and shit. That's from here, but we is from here. I'm saying we as in them niggas is from here. So they feel that they got the right to do that. What I don't understand is why do out of town motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, feel the need that they can say on JoJo and, and smoking Tuka I and mean, doing this shit and all that. Pass interpreted in music. Right. But it's acceptable too at the same time because they acknowledging us too. But at the end of the day, that's not how that shit go. Yeah, that's not how that shit go. Motherfuckers get beat up for that shit. But yeah. That's they my wouldn't point. They know if they don't know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because they right. don't fucking they don't know. know. Right, they yeah. Don't know. <laughs> yeah. They don't know. They don't know. Do you ever find yourself kind of Limiting your words because you don't want to be too Chicago. Uh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> only like when I'm at no, a job baby. interview or some shit, I be happy to correct myself. That's the only like, time I feel like I got a censor. Uh, where I you know. from? I'm from off. I'm from off Central. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from Bellwood. Yeah. What is she talking about? <laughs> it's nice meeting you, all right, fo. Oh. My bad. You know what I'm saying? You gotta correct yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. That's the only time, you know what I'm saying, when you get in front of them people. But other than that, like when we around each other, it's all lingos, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. we understand that shit. Right. So that just really bleeds into the music. Basically. Basically. Definitely. Basically. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Now, the red hair. Whose idea was that? Man, I've been wearing red hair since like freshman year, sophomore mm-hmm. year. Oh, yeah? So it ain't had I'm nothing to do switching with switching up, though. I'm switching it up. Too many people out here with red hair. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not trying to be like everybody, you know. I've mm-hmm. been doing. I ain't saying that I'm the first person that started doing red hair, but like when I was when I first started, a lot of people weren't wearing red hair. Now right. everybody, everybody got wearing it. that shit. Now, do you think the twist is a Chicago look? Hell yeah! Whole time though, to be honest, I think it's a down south look. To be honest, because them niggas really had dreads first. But they wasn't rocking it like somebody. I got oh, an argument man. over that. They wasn't rocking it like that though. They really was. I got you think a lot so? of people in Louisiana was rocking these bitches when I was twelve. I feel like it's more cultural. You know what I'm saying? Like your hair, like our hair, like you know, we we black. Our hair automatically. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what African people do. You know what I'm I saying? I like, feel like it was a trend to be honest. Now, cause yeah. I would have kept my afro. <laughs> oh, really? God, hell yeah, I would have. I would have pointed to that thing, Joe. It's just a trend, man. I liked it, that shit. I said, you know, I ain't gonna start. I said, you know, the rapper. I'm like, uh-huh. try this shit out. That shit look good to me. I'm like, I'm fucking with it. <laughs> I ain't cutting my hair. Oh shit, it was, it was a trend to me. 
Now, do y'all feel y'all have a responsibility That's when it comes to making your music? And if so, what's the responsibility? Uh, man, I, uh, well, y'all want to y'all put y'all insight in first because I keep talking first and shit. I just but feel like good, it's huh? the goal. My responsibility is to show motherfuckers you can make it from the bottom and get the fuck out the hood. A lot of motherfucking rappers doing that shit, but yeah. they faking that shit to do it. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. They faking like they really got it and they don't. End of the day, man, I ain't really had shit. I got jobs now. You feel me? I'm doing my thing. But like I said, I, I'm going to show motherfuckers how to really come up. I tell motherfuckers out west all the time I grew up with, Joe, like, y'all coming with me. You see, mm-hmm. I ain't had shit. I did this. I got locked up. I'm finna come up. Right. It's just, yeah, that's what it is, bro. And I just feel like my thing is, I just feel like I want to stay true to my music. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my my responsibility to stay true to myself and my music. Don't talk about shit. Like, don't be out here talking about shooting motherfuckers up if you if you ain't out here shooting motherfuckers up, like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, personally, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel no type of way about people that do that. But me, personally, I'm not going to do that. You know, that's my responsibility to stay true to myself and my music. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, I say that shit about shooting and all that shit, man. Some of that shit I be saying, yeah, it is true, but some shit is some shit that I oh, done seen salute, before, bro, you feel salute, me? Bro. Mm-hmm. End of the day, like I said, man, it's just my message is motherfuckers can do all this shit all they want to, but you still got to get out the hood. Yeah. I'll make music that motherfuckers going to vibe to. You think if I'm going around singing motherfuckers going to listen to me? Hell no, nah, I'll make straight drill, Joe. I did this little secret shit. They they love that shit, but end of the day, like I said, my message is to get the fuck out the hood. Mm-hmm. Pig. Now, what's next? Cause I know y'all said y'all working on videos. Oh, and thank y'all for sending me y'all shit. Y'all, y'all probably one of you. You know, we we got a mutual friend, Taco. Oh, that, Christopher. Yeah, just be oh, sending man. shit. Him That's and King. That nigga, just, they, Joe. Yeah, y'all be and sending Kendall shit. Green. Yeah, y'all. Oh they, yeah, shout shout to Taco Joe. Yeah, y'all just be I sending with you, shit. Yeah. So so like, what's the next? Cause I I got your leak. Right, right, the video right, shoot. Right, right, These right, niggas right. won't beef. Niggas but it say coming beef. soon. You know what I'm saying? So how soon is that coming? Oh, uh, man, my shit dropping next year. Like I said, I want my shit to drop hard. Okay. I don't want to just be the artist that just drop one song and then they got to wait six months later. Right, right, nah, right. No, I want my shit to be hard so I keep my fan base up. I already got a fan base off snippets and shows. <laughs> so picture when I drop my shit, how the fuck my shit going to rock. Uh-huh. You feel me? Come on now. Right. What about you, Miss Lady? Well, um, I, don't, I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to keep growing and like I want to get into a business aspect um and start my brand like I do music but I do other stuff too you know mm-hmm. I do hair I, I do the little lip gloss thing and stuff like that so like my next speak step on that lip gloss what, what lip, lip gloss thing um I got a lip gloss coming out soon um mm-hmm. I make lip gloss like a glitter gloss let, let, let them know the name and everything where they can you know I actually you know I actually haven't thought about a name yet I just put my name up on it okay and you know just a little label on it I haven't thought about a name yet I haven't really got that deep into it People just like how it looks, so that's as far as I just took it. But okay. my next step is just promoting my brand and, you know, get some videos out there. I feel like I have more fans if I do more than just music. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Oh, they, oh man, goddamn. <laughs> uh, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Like, yo, I'm sorry. you know, the the next big thing you're working on, the next big uh, thing yeah. you want the people uh, to see. I definitely got a, I would say it's more of a visual thing because, you know, People are visual people these mm-hmm. days, you know what I'm saying? They like, they love your music, you know what I'm saying? But they love the motherfucker videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they gonna, they gonna rock with, that's how motherfuckers get on. You just, I don't give a fuck. You drop a video, bro, and yo, you got smacking that song to that video, bro. You could damn near go viral off that shit, just, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's not even like really about the fame thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of a wealth you know what I'm saying, type person, you feel me? So, it's just me, I'm working on right now, like my videos. The video okay. thing, because you know what I'm saying? We all got good ass music, you know what I'm saying? We all got good ass music, you know what I'm saying? We going through the copyright thing right now. So, you know what I'm saying? We really can't fuck around like that, but you know what I'm saying? We still out here making heat, you know what I'm saying? So, we. The next big thing for me was just my videos. Yeah, all right, now. Let me say one more thing. Too. Go ahead. I got a Yo, DJ line Kid, out. what's up, man? I got a clothing line coming out, man. Gavachi well. Gavachi well. Motherfuckers be like, it's Versace. Well, well, nah, it's Gavachi oh, and Gavachi. DJ Kid, <laughs> what's up, Trademark right. like a motherfucker. Hey, my shit coming out soon. I bet you motherfuckers gonna rock that shit. Why? Because that motherfucking shit, it's, it's a trend, trust me. I'm gonna rock it. It's gonna be right. Yeah, All it's videos, gonna be a trend, right? What about you wear? That shit gonna be in the videos. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucking hug gloss gonna be on my holes. That's gonna be in my videos. Like, that's how we gonna <laughs> yeah, do yeah, this yeah, shit, yeah. bro. Oh, Real saying? talk. I I now let's really bring the fans in. Okay. Give me I want play by play, step by step session in the studio. Explain. Alright. When y'all come in, are y'all coming in to a fresh beat? No. 
I mean, like us, we, like we, 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 we going uh What's up, Auntie? I say on the phone now. What's well, my, up, cuz? My, my first beast that I got, man, was from this engineer. Like, I had to buy it up out of him. Uh-huh. You feel me? I ain't gonna stunt. Up, I didn't, uh, I didn't cop some YouTube beats. Oh, uh, yeah. But motherfuckers definitely had to pay for that shit. Right. ain't no pools around. I'm mm-hmm. not finna be paying one, two, three, and four motherfuckers for I just <laughs> had that shit to myself and just pay <laughs> that little right. bit of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, uh, I, I'm sorry, bro. I, my my train of thought keep fucking up because my laugh over here blinking. What you say again? I'm, sorry. I'm saying like, give me the we in the studio. Oh, yeah. okay. What what's happening? I mean, so you know what I'm saying. We 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 prefer to like yeah, that have our that, music already. You know what I'm saying? Bloop bloop. So we could just cause we we. So more is it of sent a, out before you get there? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. We more of a we we a we a quantity over quality. You know what I'm saying? Type person. We like quality too, but you know what I'm saying? We try to knock out as many songs when we go to the studio as yeah. we can. We write our shit in you know five minutes. Yeah. Oh damn. It ain't it ain't, right now. it ain't that it ain't that hard. It ain't I that try hard to. Put to minute and, you know what I'm saying? It ain't right. that hard to. You know what I'm saying? Put a little sixteen together, or something real fast. You know what I'm saying? To hey. Go go crazy hey. on that and the shit. Thing you know is, what I'm saying? By me and him writing our shit in five minutes, he'll go in the studio for at least five minutes and, and complete his shit. Right. I write my shit in I'm five minutes. Knowing. It'll take me an hour or two to make sure my delivery on knowing, point, cause, love, love, <laughs> Like that shit be crazy as fuck, my nigga. Yeah, I mean that shit. That shit be lit. Like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yo. When we but when we going down there and we got everything What's put up, together, DJ we going there. We got. You know what I'm saying? We got weed and shit. We, you know what I'm saying? We just getting our zone, bro. That be like magical ass motherfucking studio sessions, bro. Cause For we be turning that, that bitch, bro. Hold on, hold that should be. Up. That should be. Shout out DJ Kid, man. Yeah, shout out 100. DJ Kid, DJ man. Kid, Best Joe. DJ in the motherfucking out land, DJ, man. Baby. On baby. So. Best DJ. So who else would you say is a part of this wave that's not oh, here right nobody. now? Nobody. Oh man. Nobody. It's a wave. Oh, man. Nobody. We I mean affiliate. like I mean like yeah, I was just finna say like we knew way too nice. It's just us three. We solid, bro. Our group is not open. We is not recruiting members. We is not looking Ain't for none of that shit. Off and off and we not looking for that. On board. None but of that we shit. do get a list of affiliates. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? That we affiliate ourselves with. We got motherfucking West Now Money Game. We got motherfucking Hood, Hood Nation, Nation. FOA, motherfucking FOA, Slide Type. You know what I'm saying? We got motherfucking man. Yeah. We got we got we got we got a, a list of motherfucking affiliates that's behind us. You know what I'm saying? And they fuck with us because they see that we solid and we not trying to open our group and find replacements hey, and add-ons yeah, you know, and shit. You know, motherfuckers be actually doing that shit out here. Be trying to replace motherfuckers. We don't do that shit. We don't. What it's you mean fun. replace? Explain well, now. Like 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 groups and shit. Oh, they have Destiny motherfuckers. They they'll see us on Facebook getting into it. We do that shit a lot. We gotta stop that by the way. Yeah. They see us on Facebook <laughs> getting into it and shit. Then hop in our inbox. Oh yeah, you finna kick this nigga out? I won't in. I won't try out type shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. We ain't it's going nowhere, bro. Open. They want to. They want to. No, no, it's not bro. open. They want to slide. We fight like brothers and sisters. They want to send their little scouts out and shit and slide in our inbox and shit and try to divide us and shit. You know what I'm saying? We have to be in what we want. We want to sing you. I want to shoot this I video, want you and but I want him to rap, nah. and I want her to wear the clothes type shit. Get the fuck out of Damn. here, boy. We all together. We not with none of that shit. If he on the verse, I'm on the verse. Fuck is you talking about? And she probably doing the ad lib or walking around that motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> like, that's how we get out around this bitch, shut it. all of us. Man. So, no so is, it a, is it a closed studio? Nah, I'll catch up. See, oh, we got, yeah, we got different studios. He Anybody can come in. in. Anybody come in. You oh, gonna yeah? have to inbox me about that. I ain't even know he was related to us, bro. Who you talking about? I'm sorry, it's somebody on my lap. I'm saying, go ahead, shout him uh, out. Uh, Mike Luciano, man, he a rapper and shit. Luciano, that shit sound familiar, shit. Yeah, Mike Luciano and shit, he a motherfucker rapping and shit. My cousin on my lap telling me, catch up to him and shit. Motherfucker, get up with him. But All I'm right, sorry, cousin on the lap, we gonna interview. catch up with you later. I'm baby. <laughs> so now you say it's Mika closed. Mika Luci. It's closed studio? I mean. Oh, man. It yeah. don't have to be. You said you know? it don't have to be? It don't have to be. We had studio sessions like when we went to that studio session with you and what it it it, it was more about, people. Up uh, there. me and um, K Block. Shout out K Block too, man. But that was his people though. If it's a feature, yeah, I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Okay. Usually, if we do our own music, though, it's just us. But I said it's open. It's open. Anybody come? Ain't no recording shit though. But it's open. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when y'all do sit down and work on a project, y'all got to be. Man, shit be done before y'all we get go to, to the studio. Yeah, I was gonna say, by the time y'all get there, y'all pretty much. We probably be weeks or, or days before shit. We just, we got shit go in, in our it. fucking room stocked up in yeah. our notes and shit. We, we just get, yeah. ain't dropping yet, shit. Damn. So what's, I mean, so what's the, what's the most fun with doing this music? Fucking performances. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah. The performance? Yes, 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 definitely. Why is that? 
man, that's the, the energy. energy. And we see the love. We see the support. We see who really fuck with us, Joe. Like, the performances and tonight people, when motherfuckers show up and they show up and we don't expect them to show up, that's love right there, yeah. boy. Fuck is you talking about? Like that. that shows you who really fuck with you and who yeah. really not. It, it, that, it, it shows you who just talking and who actually about that shit and, with your ass. And nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, you got them motherfuckers that fake rock with you and shit because they trying to scout you out and peep what you about and shit. They want to tell Basically. if you thorough or not. Then when they find yeah. out you thorough and they ain't, they start hating. Basically. You feel me? And motherfuckers, I think like, you know what I'm saying, I'm outspoken. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I think it's a lot of motherfuckers that hate on us. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm not too not on horn. I don't do that shit. You know what I'm right. saying? I just think that I'm on, on my grandma. But nah, I just think it's a lot of motherfuckers that hate on us. You know what I'm saying? Asia Ray got female faces though. Asia Ray got female artists hating on her. Peanut got artists hating on her. Yeah. Same shit over here, bro. Like I swear to God, we did one motherfucking we did one motherfucking show one time, bro, and we had got like eight ops in like a week, bro. Off the show? Bro. What you I mean? Explain. Like, hey, what you hold, on, hold on, let me tell you what happened. The nigga, we had a show. We oh went crazy. God. We went nuts and shit. Nigga's Motherfuckers funny. inboxing us. Yeah, we want to shoot the video. Woo, woo. Like I said, this is a closed group. We like, hell no. Nah. Right. He got, man, I'm going to beat y'all ass. We don't want to You don't want to do this or whatever. We like, damn, is that fucking serious, bro? Niggas trying to fight. Then other motherfuckers be in his inbox and her inbox. And then my inbox trying to recruit us separately. And we say no. Then they, oh, we going to be at the show. We finna beat y'all ass. We finna oh, do this. All this shit. shit. Like, because right. y'all want to be a part of the wave, Joe. Like, that shit is immature and childish as hell, Joe. But it's actually people out here that's like that. And that's fucked up. Well, well, well let me ask y'all this. To bring it back to, you know, my old, my old school ways. You know, Wu-Tang. That fucking wave grew so damn big. I mean, they kind of had to let motherfuckers join and not join the clan itself, right. but be like more than just an affiliate. Do you oh, think yeah. that's what's happening? Like they, they see y'all energy, they see y'all buzz. Do y'all think that's the yeah. problem you having? I feel like, like some people be cloud chasing though. Like uh, I, feel, I gotta see people yeah. out before we let you in. Period. Like them, 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 them there's called. a lot of people out here with. We got motherfuckers with, that's loyal, that's really for us. But yeah, yeah. there's a lot of motherfuckers out here for the come up. We got a motherfucker. I ain't gonna fuck it. It's a motherfucker in our circle right now, and we know this motherfucker is really out for us to come up off us type shit. Mm. But we not going to throw that shit out there for the simple fact we fuck with this motherfucker music. We not never finna disown this nigga. Like, right. cause at the end of the day, it's all about telling. He got that shit. I'm not finna clown his ass, but we peep shit though. We right. peep a lot of shit. Right. But I mean, but y'all do notice that y'all wave is getting motherfucking big. Yeah. I mean, what do you think is gonna it's happen? The wave. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what do you think is gonna happen? As long as we loyal to each other, we don't give a fuck what's going on it's with like them. At the oh. end of the day, as long as we we good, cause we a family. At the end of the day, like it ain't just no group shit. It ain't just music. We a family too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So chilling. Like. Family, that ain't gonna mamas. never break. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't gonna never come in between us three. You know what I'm saying? So if you wanna fuck with us on a different type of aspect or whatever the case may be, you can. But you could do, but it's just us three as, at the end of the day. As far as like enclosed group, like bringing them into the club and all that shit, dead, over with, like gone. No chance. Right. Let me ask y'all something though. Y'all come at a, a showcase. This motherfucker up there, he killing it. He low key by himself. Y'all, y'all know he ain't got nobody. We gonna support you know the saying? fuck out this support nigga. Them, right. Yeah, we gonna support Especially if his music rocking. I'm, I don't give a fuck if he was an op. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm be if he's an op and his music raw, I'm not like I said. I don't discredit nobody. Right. Nobody. I'm turning the fuck up. No, yeah. but I'm saying you. You see, he he buys his lonesome some out there. He ain't got no. He ain't got no group. No, real with him, you know what I'm saying? He, he ain't got nothing. He, no, he just really by himself. If he by himself, we're gonna go. Like we the type of motherfuckers. No man left behind. We'll go yeah. on stage with him and turn up. Like, he'll be no man left with behind. him, I I'm swear saying, to God. Bouncer, bouncer, like, we know his music and all like, type of shit, Like, we know bro. this nigga. No man left behind. And motherfuckers can vouch, bro, because they know how we rock at them shows, bro. And we, we, whenever we do them shows, bro, like, I promise you, bro, like, not to, nah, like I said, bro, I don't toot that horn. Man, I, I just speak that, that, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. We, <laughs> we, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. <laughs> For real, bro. Like we we actually be fucking them shows up, bro. And they love our energy, bro. And they actually feed off us, bro. Like for real, for real, bro. And that shit, that shit feel good, bro. You know what I'm saying? To know a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Expect y'all to be that way. Expect, you know what I'm saying? But what you gonna do when that when when that one person come up? Like man, I've been, I wasn't even rapping before y'all. Like y'all the reason why I'm rapping. 
I mean, you got no choice but to show them love. Hey. That's inspiration, but right? does, but but do they get invited into the way? No. You can always be an affiliate, <laughs> okay. though. You know what I'm saying? We'll you know what I'm saying? Along, we'll yo, your you, words you know? go far. You know what I'm saying? Come but your shows, kick this shit, you, all that. this shit, more than flattery, bro. This shit took. You know what I'm saying? Blood, sweat, and tears, bro, to grind this shit together, shout bro. Out to you know what I'm saying? I see you, shorty. Shout Man. out to you. Yo, what's up, cuz? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying shit. So this ain't no act. Nah, hell no, this ain't no boy. This ain't no. We not time. doing this, this shit no for no publicity. Shit. We not doing right. this shit for no stunt, bro. We, we is be famous. we is we the motherfucking new the way two ninety, bro. Like and career, we we doing this shit, bro. This shit real, bro. Like it's us, bro. Damn, I like that. I ain't mad at you. Bro. I just had to add because I was really one. I'm sitting there looking, like I'm getting the vibe from y'all that is real, but I I want them to hear it. Oh, you yeah. know, I want them. It's to hear real. It. The shit is real. It's really real. All right, now what what outlets yeah, are y'all showing sure. y'all music on besides Facebook right now? Like, where can they find y'all right now if they want to just hear some media. shit? Um, I promote my music, but I just do snippets now because, like I said, like y'all said, we doing a copywriting thing mm-hmm. now. So I took all my whole songs off YouTube and stuff like that. Because niggas was out here stealing. I got into mm. a situation with my distribution, so that's what really put me on game about it. You know, she been telling me stuff about stuff like that. She been telling me. So, I don't, you know, I don't know why I want to listen to her, but it actually had to happen to me for me to learn. You know what I'm saying? My fuckers fuck, fucking with my distribution. So, I took all my music down, and I just promote my snippets on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I got a song right now that's on iTunes. Um, spin, was, it's on everything. Spinella, right. everything like. They can find that Asia Ray. Yeah. One word, two words. It's not. It's not my song though, and it's crazy. What? What? <laughs> wait. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Slow I down. Don't, I don't. I don't get rights to the song. Yeah, but but like I said, we don't though. discredit nobody though. So yeah. she gonna go ahead and put it out there though. She own the song. Yeah. I wrote oh. the song, it's my song, but I got, I got, you, I got screwed you. up on some bullshit. Yeah, on some fuck shit. But yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you like I was told, man, get cheated out of 500 now, so you don't get cheated out of 5,000 later. Basically. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And then them yeah. niggas going to be left behind looking like, oh, shit, never fuck these niggas, niggas over Because <laughs> in reality, we got big ass hearts, Joe. We look out for any and everybody when we come out to this music shit. Real yeah. talk, we the best thing. Niggas be out here snaking. We don't do that snake shit. We don't even think about, about that shit, bro. putting motherfuckers on with like the sources that we got, all type of shit, bro, that we you know what I'm saying, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's just motherfuckers want it to be like, motherfuckers want it to be like, they want it to be where we be ignorant and we be selfish and we don't look out for motherfuckers so we could just be like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you had your cocky ways before, my nigga. Man, yeah. we, all, we all had our way. I, I ain't gonna start. I had a cocky ass way last night. I felt like I was the shit. But my that's... folks grab me. I'm like, move, bitch. I apologize. I'm sorry. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. Shit. Do you think they confuse y'all energy on stage with our personality? They just, they just musicians. We can really get them real easily. Cause look they at them. They probably do. They just up By there the way, we them. look. We don't look how we rap. Right. Right. We don't. Right. right. Hey, to be honest, I'm finna shock the fuck out the world. Everybody think I'm a nigga. I'm a whole ass female, bro, and I'm rapping like a straight dude. That's yeah. what fuck motherfuckers heads up. Yeah. You feel me? I can see that. Motherfuckers yeah, I can see be that. trying to like really get my ass. I'm like, I ain't stupid though. You feel me? <laughs> I rap just how I think. I ain't no pools over here. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know, I, I was wondering about that. Cause y'all, y'all shows be, you know, yeah, full yeah. of energy. Full yeah, of energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always. So it's kinda like they almost wanna say, I'm thinking, do they look at it like, okay, they're they're more performers than they are rappers. I mean, you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. but our music and our performance is equal. Right. It's equal as hell. It ain't gonna stunt. But I can say some of our performance slack before until mm-hmm. we start getting really out there, out there. Yeah. But our music, they all they they fuck with our music before our performances, though, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, and that's, that's crazy. But our performances just get out there because our fan base. Shouts out to everybody that was there last night on 127, you feel me? Yeah, Y'all yeah, yeah, cool yeah. For us. Cool. Yeah, when I tell you, like, bro, the flow was like, we had the flow jumping, like, we ain't had no room, shorty. We ain't had Everybody no room. was shit. This Woo! table is the room we had. <laughs> to perform. Perform. And, the, and the club was a big ass, like, for real, for real, bro. Like, and everybody got videos of us. But don't want to send the shit. Though. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no disrespect, we still fuck with y'all niggas. No yeah. disrespect, I want my video. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, babies. So y'all know what y'all got to do now. Y'all got to get somebody just to work the camera. Yeah, we, yeah, we got to gotta invest we in got our you. own camera and get our cameraman to record our 100. own videos. The motherfuckers <laughs> want to be stingy. 
<laughs> with our shit and they phones. <laughs> like we ask they dirty ass to, you know what I'm saying? Record. Like y'all been doing a lot of shows lately. Like how do you, how do y'all come yeah. across these shows? Um, dynasty, I dynasty, motherfucking dynasty, promoter, dynasty man. You know what I'm saying? We got a we got a we got a promoter. It's more like you know. I'm sorry. You good? It's more like a, you know what I'm saying? A sisterly bond between her and Asia Ray. You know what I'm saying? I met Dynasty through Asia Ray. You feel me? It's the same with you know what I'm saying? I think Peanut right. Nah, I ain't mean to do it. I told you, I got out of jail. I hit Dynasty up. She was like, I got you, shorty. And she uh, put me back on with this well, shit. Well, yeah, I met Dynasty through Asia Ray. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically, you know what I'm saying? She got the plugs on all the shows. She like a promoter. She been doing this shit before us, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like she got videos out of shit, songs and, she and shit. You know what I'm she's sacrificing us, to be honest. Shout out to her, though. Shout out shout to her, out, real shout talk. Out to she, uh, she, yeah, she, shout out to motherfucking Dynasty, us, man. But that's yeah, she basically, plug, she, she investing in us, Joe. Damn. She sacrificing us like fucking uh, Jermaine and Free did Bad Wow. She basically yeah. looking out for us instead of looking out for herself, Joe. Like I because said, she, she been out she there know. longer than us. She, she know that see, that shit gonna pay off. She see this shit coming and she know we gonna pay off. She one of our main, you know what I'm saying, supporters. Like if don't nobody, you know what I'm saying, geek our heads up or tell us huh. they believe in us huh. or tell us, you know what I'm saying. Right. She do that shit more than anybody. And she don't get involved when we be in our fuck shit, you know. Yeah. yeah. You feel like me? I, Other I, motherfuckers I, be in getting involved in I that know, shit. I know what's wrong, y'all cool. Try to be nosy and shit. Motherfuckers really don't be giving a fuck. They just be nosy. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. All right, well, y'all already know before I let y'all go, I gotta, I gotta, gotta, gotta get a freestyle out of all three of y'all. Oh, yeah, let me go first. Oh, yeah. Let me okay. go first. And I'm with that. Hold oh, no, on, let me, oh, let me go first. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all know this is on radio, so. Y'all ready for this freestyle, Pina Kibachi, baby? This, 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 Rio, this, 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 oh, yeah, man. this gonna get played and played and played and, and played again. Oh, yeah, man. Damn, no you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm with that, man. What you looking for? Charge. What you? What kind of phone you got? I got charge. I ain't got no plug. I got all. We we, we corded up around here. Oh yeah, it's the I'm cord game. I'm though, man. Dude. Oh, it'll reach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uchi, Wally, this little freestyle Wally. before you we get up out of here. Alright, we finna hit this freestyle. I'm going first. I go first. I don't freestyle, but I'm a rapper. <laughs> Tell freestyle. Super hot fire. Oh, no beat. No, just no, no beat. Yeah, this oh, is shit. <laughs> We want people to hear you. I say, who you know do it better than this in my flow? Stay nasty like hallway piss, bitch. Microphone checker, be so disrespectful. How I'm coming, Andre with that drumming in the paint, little bitch. I'm buzzing. Just knocked the thigh boost, and now I'm trying to fuck a cousin. Look, money bag long. That's some old hoe titties. And before I move that work, say a prayer, Lord forgive me. Then I pick that thing up and get the jugging with the semi check. Hip hop and dead. This the era of mumble rap where niggas belly finna sentence. Buggy wrist, go figure that. Nimble, yes, yeah, so simple with it. But this shit so fundamental. Metaphor on galore, like a pimp with some whores, man. This pad a punching bag when I'm through it's a body bag. Look, I just cop the cougar, but I couldn't even pursue it. Look, that ass was too fat, and I can take the way she threw it. But every time that we fuck, best believe I put her through it. I'm a don with this magic wand. Yo, bitch, this bombing out the door. I gotta get it. Ho, I ain't got no time. Hey, go crazy. <laughs> can't real. Damn, you gonna throw me under the bus like know, that? Man. You ain't shit, man. I'm gonna pull a real. <clears throat> on oh, babies. I do not freestyle, but I'm a rapper. <laughs> New Way 290, man. Hey, it's so slight. I don't see how you see, bitch. I'm a beast, bitch. Rolling deep. Demo D shit. Take a seat, bitch. Lack, bitch. Never lack shit. You ain't peep shit. Sneak this. Gonna sneak this. You a weak, bitch. Weak niggas gotta move around. It ain't sweet, bitch. Fake niggas with the hollow tips to their knees, bitch. My niggas, they gonna rob niggas while they sleep, bitch. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That was a little preview, Shady. Oh my God! Well, they, well, hey, what they said, you always the last one in the studio. Way at 290, uh, man. Oh man. Because <laughs> I don't freestyle, but um. And I don't freestyle. I'm trying to put on a start. None of us ice I'm rock. But we're rappers stuff. though, so. <laughs> I'm a writer. <laughs> I'm gonna put on blast, man. I'm gonna put on blast like this. <laughs> She's shy. I can't freestyle. I'm gonna be rhyming shit that don't even match. Let me see. We're gonna we're just gonna give him something. It could be written. It's okay. been done before. Uh-huh. Um, Damn, before. why you ain't say that in the room? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, Motherfucking way too many, man. Y'all I could have been like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Niggas talking all that beef shit to a beast, bitch. Hit your ass with the full clips and make you ski, bitch. Little weak, bitch. With the hollow tips to your knees, bitch. Bag, bitch. On the fucking ground. That be D shit. <laughs> hey. Funny as hell. On bay with the bars, though. <laughs> oh with the, with the bars. <laughs> You want to you just take a rain check or something? <laughs> I don't have to take a rain check on that one. Ah, you funny. I, I do not freestyle. That is not my style. 
I don't do that. Hey, let's well, spit the shit you gave me to put on the show that day. The ounces? Yeah. Hold <laughs> on, my niggas move out. <laughs> trying to get set up, huh? <laughs> I got them ounces. My amigo be flipping them ounces. Hey. Stay high. I'm so lifted, I'm groundless. Hey. And there's just no way to come down, bitch. But uh, needless to say, I'm oh. stacking chips with no Pringles today. I'm getting money, can't spend in a day. Fuck with my money, fry you like filet. But she could get grimy what? with bro and my homies behind me. Ay. Diamonds on my neck, they so shiny. Ay. I'm shining la ho, yeah, I'm blinding. Ay. But that is the truth. We whip and working, there's no need for proof. Bitches, they hate me, they know I'm the truth. I told my little hitter, there's no need to shoot. I guess I decided that I keep it cute. These niggas misguided, they all need to boo. I'm all about business, fuck ties in the suit. If it ain't about money, go find a new route. You're not cut for this shit, I'm just telling the truth. Rolling Ay. every time I step in oh, the booth. Crazy. No. <laughs> on phone now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. We gotta say one more thing hey, before ways, we cut this bitch. Yeah. Hey, 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 y'all yeah. ready? Who is niggas? We don't, don't fuck, fuck with full religion. religion. <laughs> on full now. Hey, y'all know how we rock it, man. New Way 290 shit, man. Shout out everybody, man, that came out to listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga Vachi, well, shout out, Rio, man. Asia, Ray. What's now, man? Hood Nation, man. FOA slot type, man. Big Way Gang One Gang, man. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. New Way 290 shit. Hold on, hold on. Add shout me out on Steezo Facebook, too. yo. Flex Mob. Yeah, yeah. Let them know where they can find y'all. And it's E-X-X-M-O-B-B. Flex Mob. That's Pina Gavachi, shorty. This is A S I A R A Y Y. Yo, man, King Rio, man, add me on Facebook, man. B O N Shaw, as in B O N S H A D, man. You know like what I'm saying? Like big, big old nigga. nigga. Shaw. You know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I, and I, again, I want to thank y'all, man, for letting me use y'all music, man, for real. I, oh, yeah, you I, I, I really tell everybody, man. You know, I, I know, like we were talking about the whole, oh, yeah. it ain't to protected, you too. it ain't, yeah. you know, you never know who yeah. fucking listening. But. but see, you you a real nigga, though, bro, because yeah. you don't do no fuck shit like that, though. So we ain't even got to worry about that. Oh, yeah, thank you for this interview, man. Like yeah, I said, you man, definitely man, blessed you, us with the interview, you, bro. You our first interview with Joseph. You know what that means, nigga? Yeah. You know what that means? This liquid gold right here. Right, right, right. Who interviewed you first? Oh, shit, Steezo. man. Shout out Steezo Radio, too. Shout man. the fuck Shout out to the fuck him. Out, Shout y'all buddy. tune in, man. Listen to this man. This man be get, got the shit over like there. Like his shit, man. Share his shit, man. Oh, Hop on his shit. Fuck right, is you man, talking you about? You know, when y'all when y'all get some more shit going on, man, come back Next too. Shit, for real. Right, yeah, you, I, we know we going to come back. All right. Not, not, that note, we out. This interview was brought to you by Steezo Radio, the podcast. To listen to the podcast, simply follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, SoundCloud, YouTube, Periscope, at Steezo Radio, or Google at Steezo Radio. And please do not forget. Steezo Radio is for adults only.